Adventurers, I'm your host, Dreef. Hello, everyone. I'm game designer Clara. Today, I'll be bringing you the latest updates on version 120. Let's get right to it. I recently heard the saying, a craftsman ultimate pursuit can lead to depravity. It reminds me of someone from the court of Bantis. You're right. Each time they mention the chief armorer of Bantis, the Graveborns would only refer to him by his moniker, the Bonesmith, out of reverence. Many do not know that he was once a human named Ivan. In his pursuit of the puppeteering craft, he abandoned his body and turned himself into a puppet. His greatest interest lies in creating puppets out of the skeletons of various beings. He once said, those unable to be my spectator will end up as my work. In any ultimate or mad pursuit of skill and perfection, one can easily fall into extreme obsession, which can lead to depravity. Anyhow, I wonder how this bonesmith would perform on the battlefield. On the battlefield, the bonesmith transforms into an intelligence-based support hero. He can turn the allied hero with the highest attack rating into a puppet, increasing their damage output and defense rating in the short term. He can also carve a skeletal squire on the battlefield, who can attack and taunt enemies. In addition, he can control enemy heroes. This makes him a versatile support hero, able to attack and defend, bringing buffs to his entire team. I can't wait to see what new masterpiece the Bonesmith will deliver on the battlefield. In version 120, we're also welcoming a new boss, Soul Hound. Oh, this three-headed hound looks ferocious. It was once a hound of a general of the empire, following its owner into battlefields and demonstrated absolute loyalty. However, its owner was beguiled by the Hypogeans and sacrificed its soul in exchange for his own eternal life. The loyal hound was then incarnated into a Hypogean that hunts innocent souls. But old habits die hard. Whenever they hear a whistling sound, they will still respond. During battles, the Soul Hound can be controlled for a short period of time. The first hero to control the Soul Hound becomes a Whistle Bearer. When dealing damage, the hero's ultimate skill continuously tames the Soul Hound, while it also continuously resists the taming. After being completely tamed, the Soul Hound can be easily defeated. Oh, I get it. The key is to use your control skills to become a Whistle Bearer and keep taming the Hound. That's right! After the version 120 update, the Soul Hound will be available in Nightmare Corridor. A new event called Dark Yard is also coming to Judgment Chronicles. Its two bosses, Soul Hound and Mask Curator, will take the stages in rotation. A new rotating battle! Are you all ready for it? Are you bothered that you can't qualify for the Treasure Hunt Camp? Dismayed that you are ineligible to vie for the title of Treasure Master? We are bringing you the essential training that will level you up in no time and set you on the path of becoming a treasure hunter. If you perform well in the camp, you will receive an invitation from Treasure Scramble to become a treasure hunter. So join us now. Since participants must meet certain thresholds in order to join Treasure Scramble, we are launching a treasure hunt camp in version 120 to enable more adventurers to participate in the event. You can join the camp by completing stage 11 through 40 and explore alongside other trainees of comparable skill and strength. When a trainee successfully graduates, they can enter Treasure Scramble in advance. It's like a newbie version of Treasure Scramble. Perform well and you can qualify for Treasure Scramble in advance. That's right. All aspiring treasure hunters are welcome to participate. I heard that the Dream Realm has been a bit restless of late. Are Tossi and Aziz fighting again? To protect everyone's dreams, Tossi created a peculiar dreamland into which she projected various awakened heroes in order to trap Aziz. Yet Aziz would not admit defeat. He vowed to destroy all these enemies in the dreamland and engulf their abilities. A limited time event, Haunting Dreamscape, will be available in version 120 where you can play the role of Aziz and challenge other awakened heroes in turn. With each battle win, Aziz gains a new talent and can choose to adjust his formation or level up his heroes. Wow, let's see if you can help Aziz escape. There's more good news. In the new Temporal Rift season of version 120, players will also see a host of new optimizations, 
Firstly, regarding the Team Rewind function, for which we received a lot of feedback, you can now choose to rewind a single battle. That's awesome! No more resetting the whole floor! Besides, the Divine Seal refresh mechanic is also optimized. It will now prioritize delivering Divine Seals that you lack and avoid generating an inferior Divine Seal when the adventurer possesses a superior seal of the same type. So we can all now get the Divine Seals we desire. We've also added new Avatar Frame rewards for the leaderboard, as well as season-exclusive stickers for the new season. New Avatar Frame rewards? I'd better start battling now! That's all the updates we have for you for version 120 this episode. To find out more about them, be sure to try out the game. You are also welcome to join more discussions in your gaming community. See you all again next time!